the uh, in front of East Orange City Hall. We're about to commence our our trek through 13 cities, uh, 15 miles worth. Our whole purpose is to call attention to this constant violence that's going on throughout our state and throughout our country. Um, right now, we're going to be meeting up with other groups and individuals as we go along. We're going to leave from East Orange, go to Irvington, then to Newark, then Hillside, to Elizabeth, to Roselle, Linden, to uh, Cranford, Garwood, Westfield, uh, Fanwood, Scotch Plains, and at, at 6 o'clock we're going to have our rally in Plainfield. So this is the start of it right now. We're kind of gathering here. We're waiting for others to join us. And then we're going to leave from here and start our trek through all 13 cities. Now, we, we want people to, to those who can't get involved in the rallying call, call your elected officials and refer to uh, the, uh, the, the New Jersey Study Commission report on violence. Ask those elected officials to take on those recommendations that were submitted to them last October. So don't sit on it. Ask your elected official, your assemblyman, your, your state senator, and ask them to what happened to that New Jersey Commission report on violence that, that urges them serious recommendation that they should be making to address this violent crisis throughout our state, particularly in urban inner city communities. So this is our start. We'll be talking more, giving you more information throughout this whole 15 mile, 13 city trek. Because North right now has 71 murders, higher than last year. You had 105 the whole year. Don't break 2013 when you had up to, uh, what, 112. That was higher than you ever had in, since the 90s. Now, somebody got to act like they got some damn sense. And I'm giving it to you raw. Because when the bars open up, everybody going to get their drink on. Some going to get their smoke on. Some going to get their head on. And somewhere in between some of that, somebody ain't going to act like they're going to have some sense. But just as much as somebody don't have no damn sense, somebody got to be able to say to somebody, look, young brother, it ain't that deep. Turn it down. Turn it off. I know it's hot temper. Because most of the murders in Newark don't have a damn thing to do about making some money. Ain't none of it. You ain't that organized. The white folks making the money. The ones that selling that hair on, they making that big money. Y'all think y'all make, you ain't making no money. Because if you're making money, you wouldn't be shooting at each other, right? Let me tell you how the mafia did it back in the day. They realized, they said, when we stop shooting, we can't make money like that. Can you bring the heat on you? So that's what they tell me when there's 71 murders, ridiculously, that tells me that, number one, <laughs> you know, it can't be over no money. So what is it over? It's over some stupid stuff. Some girl over some boy, or you stepped on my toe, or somebody hating somebody because of something else, or something happened at the cookout last year, or a joker just got out of jail to have some beef two years ago. Those are the reason why these murders occurred. It ain't about the, anything victorious. It ain't about winning nothing. It ain't about black power. It ain't about justice. It ain't about none of that. It's about some stupidity, senseless kind of stuff that is happening from our people on our people. There ain't no white man pulling the damn trigger. I'm keeping it 100. 71 murders. Right now there's death. And we in September. And many of these murders happen at the end of the year. So somebody got to start. Y'all can put this on Instagram and Twitter and put this out there. Just give a call to stop this. I know the mayor... Ralph the Rocket got to be losing his mind because he used to be one of the one of the activists on the corner. Now he's running the city and, and he got a, he got a bad problem going on. But he ain't nothing until unless you all step up. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you where the magic is. The magic is with the women. With the women. The women in our community. I'm going to tell you why. Because y'all brothers go see the women. That's your girlfriend or your wife, your lover. 
or your other girlfriend, and you come to the house, you probably ask them for some money, or you go there to eat, or what have you. And so while you have these brothers and sisters, you tell them, brothers, when you leave out that door tonight, you know, leave that gun back. Don't take that gun outside because you're going to use it. And you're going to use it and you're going to hurt somebody. And you're going to probably kill somebody. So we got to be responsible, people. We have to stop making violence and mayhem and murder part of our common life in Newark, New Jersey. Home of black culture. I see an old G right here back in the day. You remember when we had that black power that led the movement, right? That's right. I know you know me. Salam Ismail. Write it down. Google it. Because I'm going to come back here again and again and again. Because I love my people. On, I don't know how they love themselves, but I know I love you. No, so if nobody else going to love you, we have to love each other. Because guess what? While Prudential and all the motherfuckers downtown getting billions off of the taxes or the money that you spend here in this town, they give you nothing. Talk to them, They said, don't worry about them niggas, they're going to kill themselves anyway. Who the hell cares? A shot of, or whatever, stay bullet. That 18 year old boy, who was a teenager. How old are you, son? You about what? You 15? All right. Get to him. Let them know. To look, bro. Chill out. Chill out. You don't have to be afraid of them. Just because they didn't have no daddy. You know what I'm saying? Talk to them. That's all. And nobody asked you to put yourself at risk. I know some of them, they're part of a, 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 a whatever group they're part of. Whatever set they represent. Pain, suffering, murders, been happening in North. Too much pain. I know many of you living around this area can hear this. This, this megaphone can go a quarter of a mile. So I want to take advantage of this moment as a citizen of America to say to you brothers that we have to keep the peace. 71 murders in Newark alone. 71. And it's only September. So everybody serve a responsibility to your neighbors, to your friends, to your loved ones to say keep the peace. Some of you gentlemen around in this ward, this South Ward, have more shooting in this war than any other war in the city. That's not to put you down. That's just to inform you that we have a responsibility. Those of you women, tell your young son that violence and gun toting and murder can only put you two places. They can put you in jail or they can put you in your grave. We know this is a hot area, this area right here. We know a lot of stuff going around here. We know when it get hot, it gets a little tough. So we have to be responsible to our fellow brethren and tell our friends and tell our neighbors to spread the word and a call to peace to tell our young brothers and sisters to stop the violence, stop the shooting. If we can get to one person, just one, that can hear our words and put it to the next person, that's all well and good. We can't get to all 270,000 people in New York, but we can get to a few. We can start something. So, so you all on Facebook and, and, and Instagram and Twitter, start putting out some words of peace. Tell your young brothers and your cousins, you know who they are, to chill out with that stuff. Stop the shooting. Stop the banging. Stop the getting frustrated over simple, stupid stuff. Because that's where most of these murders are from. Most of these murders are from over dumb stuff. Stuffing on my toe, over some girlfriend, over some old beef over a year or two ago. That's right. That I know. And don't worry about more than that for 71 murders that people don't understand where that comes from. Because most of the murders don't have nothing to do with making money. Nothing to do with a whole lot of drugs and and all that kind of stuff. Most of these murders is over simple things. 
is that we fighting because we trying to rescue ourselves from the evils of the man. No, it ain't that. It's over some dumb stuff he stuffed on my toe. Hello. Hello. And I know some of these young boys call it some crib and blood and all kinds of set this, set that, 21st, 33th Street, whatever. All that kind of stuff. They, that's, uh, you know what? And that's cool. Whatever you rep, that's cool. But you rep yourself. But when you, when you really organize, and you really get yourself together, and you really storm in your spot, then guess what? You will never have to pull a trigger. Because your thing going to be that good. Your stuff gonna be that laid out. But guess what? The other community, the other community, the non-African American community, that's selling more dope than you can ever even think about, making more money than you can. There are no more. Impossible dreams. Impossible dreams. With pride. With pride. At my side. At my side. With hope. With hope. Not dope. Not, not dope. dope. And not guns. No not guns. guns. I am. I am. Somebody. Somebody. I am. I am. Somebody. Somebody. I am. I am. Somebody. That's what's up. Go. Go. Yo. Go.